we were talking to Mr. Lenny Graves, Sr., and he's talking about uh, his life experiences uh, growing up in a Texas town. And of course, uh, uh, Mr. Graves, let's uh, have you to continue that uh, intriguing information that you're giving us relative to just your uh, upbringing and your upgrowing in uh, Texas at that particular time. Well, thank you. As I said, I, uh, I studied hard. I, I, went to, I went to Purdue View, not to school, but I, I won first place in, in the district and in the county mm -hmm. league and, and, and the claim in. And I, uh, I, went to, I didn't win first place there, but I, mm -hmm. I, I uh, was very well, did very, very well. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I, when I had to quit school, mm -hmm. I, I I took books home with me. I wrote short stories and uh, and all of this. And I was a dreamer, mm -hmm. and I wrote a story. But anyway, let me go on from there. Mm -hmm. I went to my and uh, in the when the, during the depression mm -hmm. in 1929 and whatever, my father's brother passed away and. To my surprise, mm -hmm. because my father did not have it, uh, interest, I mean, there was no papers on uh, mm -hmm. the, it, was in his brother's name. Mm -hmm. And so we had no part in mm -hmm. the farm. Mm -hmm. His, his year, my father's share had one. Mm -hmm. and, and during the Depression, they sold the farm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we had to move. Mm -hmm. And so we moved to, to a, a farm mm -hmm. where a white man had some. Uh, 2,000 acres of land he was farming. Mm -hmm. And I worked for that, started working for that man when I was about 18 years old, mm -hmm. and worked for him to for 34 years. Mm -hmm. And during that 34 years, mm -hmm. uh, d d uh, while I was faithful him and, and uh, so forth, he, I was made finally a foreman mm -hmm. of that farm. That was 34 years. After, after, after all those years, a little mm -hmm. more than 24 years, I mm -hmm. mean, uh, I, uh, when I was, a, mm -hmm. well, I was, I was a grown man mm -hmm. with 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 a family, mm -hmm. and uh, he he was, uh, I, I I was so faithful and mm -hmm. and studied so hard and and I knew something about chemistry and all that mm -hmm. kind of business and poetry kind of this this kind of thing mm -hmm. and and uh, finally he moved me to the, the best farmhouse on the place, mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. How, bungalow mm -hmm. house, faded mm -hmm. white. I had running water. I had mm -hmm. uh, t t telephone, and mm -hmm. I, I had some uh, just. Mm -hmm. and, and people say, and, and a brand new car, Ford. I mean, mm -hmm. a truck to, to mm -hmm. go over to see the farm with, and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff, and punish me gas and all and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And people said, uh, uh, they said, oh, oh, that boy got a white man's job. Oh, uh, ain't that something? But, but, uh -huh. but this, it, this, it was. It really this, was. But the Lord blessed me to do this. Yeah, uh -huh. And uh, I, I had a family, started my family, and mm -hmm. my father had passed away. Mm -hmm. And I had to be responsible for burying him. Mm -hmm. it was, in, in, in 1940, it was just things were hard, but I, mm -hmm. I, Lord blessed me to do with that thing. Mm -hmm. I, I went through a lot, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I, I stayed with what I was doing. And because mm -hmm. of that, uh, I, uh, my, my, my daughter, I had three, three boys and a girl, and, and uh, uh, when my girl got old enough, I uh, took her to Waco to every mm -hmm. Saturday to give her music, me piano lessons. Mm -hmm. And because I'd sit there and watch, I learned, I learned a lot about playing music mm -hmm. by take, just taking lessons from the lady. And so I bought her a piano. Mm -hmm. And I, so I went to playing too. I, I, I took advantage of what I learned about the teachers, mm -hmm. teaching my daughter. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I'm at home showing her, and I, mm -hmm. I learned how to teach her. Uh, so the church asked me to play for them, and I, mm -hmm. I did that. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I was active, and, I, and I, later on, uh, when I was about 30 years old, uh, uh, the, the, I was elected to an organization of church, 40 churches, mm -hmm. with a, with, and I was elected to men's president of 40 mm -hmm. churches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I, I was able to go to all over the state of Texas at, at mm -hmm. annual meetings. And then I was elected because of mm -hmm. my skills in writing and everything. I was elected in Galveston, Texas, 
uh, Secretary of the State Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. because of that, that I was able to go all, all over the nation. All, all over the, the nation. Like I, I, mm -hmm. I, 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 I was able, uh, 30 some odd states. Mm -hmm. I, 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 this was a blessing to my part. Mm -hmm. And I, I thank the Lord for it. And, uh, and so meeting people that uh, wow. professional people mm -hmm. who had respect for me and for my p perseverance mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing. And uh, there were a uh, couple of doctors that just almost adopted me. Mm -hmm. Whatever, I, whatever, wherever, wherever they went, uh, they would share with me. I mm -hmm. said, man, I, I said, I want to be with, with my folks. He said, boy, come on here. You, <laughs> you, my people, the old people. Mm -hmm. And he, and he, they were, this is my, this is my friend, Mr. Graves. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, uh, mm -hmm. oh, they would, uh, and I, uh, and where did you go to school and all this kind of stuff? Mm. But I, 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 I dedicated myself to studying. I, mm. I took a Spanish book home with me. Mm -hmm. I took an English book home because the Seventh-day mm -hmm. English book had so much in it. I, I studied that book. I studied Spanish. Mm -hmm. And I, I even studied, I got an old typewriter. Mm -hmm. And I started trying to learn how to type mm -hmm. and all of that kind of business. And, uh, and years later, uh, when I, my, mm -hmm. when I, I, I contacted Dr. Carver, mm -hmm. I went to, I went to, uh, I went to Austin, Texas, mm -hmm. uh, uh, to take a course down there, and uh, at, at the, at that institute for people, on people that who had mm -hmm. handicapped, I, that, uh, mm -hmm. that kind of, and because of that, and when I, but I had been working, I had, I had left mm -hmm. the farm, mm -hmm. and I went to the prepare a place, mm -hmm. and, uh, I uh, I did well, real well there, mm -hmm. and then when I when I retired from the that retail place, mm -hmm. then I went they, I went to work at a, mm -hmm. at the lighthouse for the blind in Waco mm -hmm. for ten years, mm -hmm. and they made me made me the uh, they had three departments, mm -hmm. and they to my surprise they made me mm -hmm. uh, director of the three all three of the departments. Okay. And, and uh, of course, uh, Mr. Graves, let, let's uh, stop now for our second commercial break, yes. after which we'll come back and we'll give you an opportunity to talk about uh, all of the, just the uh, tremendous things that you've been able to do. And even now, you're only at, what, 40 years old, 40, 45 years old, and, 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 and you've still got uh, books to write and all of that. And of course, uh, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Mm -hmm. Today. We're talking to Mr.